I think it would be a little bit unfair to call this a review. It's more of a very quick heads up, and it's called Node Minimap. So let's take a quick look at it. Let's begin. <laughs> Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, this is pretty damn fresh to be honest, it's hot off the press, it's less than 10 hours old, and it's called Node Minimap. And it pretty much does exactly what you think it's going to do. It generates a minimap so you can quickly navigate your node trees or your shader editor. Now, there is a big warning here from the developer. This is a very early version and almost certainly contains many bugs. <laughs> At least he's honest. Now, this is available for free. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So let's take it for a quick spin. So I'm inside of the shader editor, as you notice, and I have this nice map here. Now, in order to enable the map, you need to come up to the top right hand side, show mini map. Now, when you enable it, what you need to do is you need to kind of zoom in just a little bit for the map to essentially initialize. So just keep that in the back of your mind in case you're thinking, oh, this isn't working, it isn't working. It's one of these bugs. We have a few options. We can change things like the preferences, we can change the size of the map, stuff like this, the outline color. But generally, the defaults work pretty damn fine. So we essentially have this mini map. Now, one thing that I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but when I go to move left, it goes right, and when I go to move right, it moves left. So it's kind of mouse inverted. So maybe that's something a developer might need to take a look at. So it's pretty handy, to be honest. As you can see here, I can quickly use the map to navigate my node tree. It works perfectly fine, to be honest. Now, there's a few things it could do with being fixed. For example, if you click on a node, it only zooms out. If you actually click on a node, it would be nice if it actually focused directly on the node. And obviously the developer is aware of this, so I'm hoping to see that in the next couple of weeks. Because it is a visual representation, you can see here, for example, the math node is highlighted in blue, so it's pretty quick to navigate. Now, navigation feels just a little bit janky. I'm hoping that kind of gets fixed over the next few weeks. Hoping some additional features come in. But it's definitely one to keep an eye out. It is called Node Minimap. Do me a favour, guys. Please support third-party developers. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do.